आप देखते रहिए काउंटलेस स्ट्रोक्स अ ग्रुप एग्जीबिशन एट डीडी नरोय गैलरी आर्ट स्पॉट मुंबई फ्रॉम 26 टू द 31st ऑफ मई 2022 फीचरिंग वर्क्स ऑफ मृदुला नायर निर्मल के प्रवीण कुमार पसारे प्रलय दत्ता रूबीना कलहा एस शेषाद्री शुभ्र शिल्प गौडे शर्मिता रॉय क्यूरेटेड बाय गायत्री देसाई wonderful to have all of you all here welcoming all to boundless strokes it's an exhibition which is featuring works of nine artists so we've all gathered here artists who have worked in different mediums in different styles some of them have expressed themselves digitally some have worked on watercolors some in oils some in acrylic so it's all very interesting so i'm not going to speak much but i want you all to have a look at all the work welcoming all to dd niroy gallery art spot which is in south mumbai the heart of south mumbai near marine drive chopati and we are here from the 26th to the 31st of may so do visit our timings are 11 to 6 thank you hi i'm sharmita roy i would be, want to welcome everyone to come and see this show the boundless strokes uh, curated by uh, uh, gayatri ji and it's be it's a really wonderful platform for all of us artists and uh, regarding myself i i hail from northeastern region of india assam and uh, nature has always been very inspiring to me so here is my painting which i have done on leaves i have actually worked on natural leaves as you can see on the back of the painting that the, all the paintings i have preserved the leaves and uh, worked on it in a manner where you know the leaves are like a canvas and one can use paints to uh, acrylic paints to sketch on it and paint on it and this is what i have done so it is a very lengthy process and myself being a student of life science i just have the knowledge to you know work and preserve the leaves completely dehydrated so that once they are done and mounted it can be you know kept for good for all times to come so uh, my subjects are varied depending upon the mood of an artist what really captures me so that that's how you can see lot of different uh, Uh, you know uh, subjects being sketched on the leaves and uh, my as a profession i am a textile designer and this is my passion which i am very passionate about and here i am with all my works for this show and it's going to be there from today till the 27th so would request everyone to please come and see the show it is a big motivation for all the artists and i'm sure you know you it will be a good insight for all creative and art lovers thank you so much या yeah, मैं uh, मेरा नाम शुभ्रा है uh, वैसे मैं गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया में एक ब्यूरोक्रेट हूँ लेकिन लास्ट पंद्रह साल से मेरे हॉबी है जो अब पैशन में बदल गई है मैं रेगुलरली uh, पेंटिंग करती हूँ जब जब टाइम मिलता है करती हूँ सैटरडे संडे करती हूँ सो आई लाइक मेरा मोस्ट फेवरेट मीडियम ऑयल एंड एक्रेलिक ऑयल ऑफ कोर्स फर्स्ट प्रेफरेंस एंड देन एक्रेलिक एक्रेलिक इज़ फास्टर ऑल्सो टाइम थोड़ा कम रहता है उस वजह से एंड मेरे को रिफ्लेक्शंस एंड 
play of colors, how different layers of color they move, they merge with each other. वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है। कई बार actually colors बताते हैं कि मेरे को ये ये शुरू कर देती हूँ colors से और उसके बाद उसमें से image बनना शुरू होता है। ऐसा नहीं होता है। जैसे बहुत सारे artists हैं पहले पूरा frame करते हैं और फिर काम करना शुरू करते हैं। मेरा style थोड़ा सा ऐसा है क्योंकि I am a self-taught artist। ऐसा नहीं है कि मैं कोई school college में जाके सीखा, but बहुत अच्छा लगता है colors, drawings, canvas। so वो मेरे लिए एक तरह से de-stressing भी है और कुछ creativity का feeling भी बहुत ज़्यादा उससे अच्छा आता है। बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे गायत्री मैम ने इतना अच्छा display किया। सारे artists का काम इतना अच्छा है, quality of work बहुत अच्छा है, gallery जो एक gallery को होना चाहिए, मतलब जिस तरह से होना चाहिए, perfectly placed है, बहुत central जगह पे है। मैम के साथ मैंने पहले दुबई art show में भी किया था, so इतनी प्यार से वो सब काम लेके गए, वहाँ पे display किया, वापस लाए, तो it's a very good experience। so जब मैम से बताया कि मैं exhibition करने वाली हूँ, so I immediately agreed कि हाँ, मेरे काम के लिए exposure भी हो जाएगा। और मैं एक और exhibition अभी contemporary साथ में चल रहा है मेरा नेहरू सेंटर में, so वहाँ पे भी मैं हूँ, तो till Sunday तो मैं वहाँ हूँ, so मैं ये सारा exhibition 31 कर तक चलेगा, so आप लोग आइए बहुत अच्छा काम है, बहुत सबको सब लोग enjoy करेंगे। Hi, I'm Rubina Kalha, a watercolor artist from Thane. I've been painting watercolor since a child, and I have been involved in oils and watercolors, but watercolor has been my main medium of work. And um, I like to paint a lot of life, uh, sorry, I like to play with a lot of lights and shadows in my work. And I try to move away from very realistic approach to things and, you know, bring a lot of impressionism and uh, make it more interactive for the viewer by involving him in my artwork. And um, this is the second exhibition that I have with D.D. Naroy Art Gallery, Art Spot. And I'm very excited to be participating in it. I am Shilpa Gode and uh, I have been uh, in this field last almost 25-30 years. Uh, I have been exhibiting, uh, displaying my artwork, doing commission work and uh, basically in this creative field last so many years and uh, yeah during uh, Corona time, yeah of course I was doing my work but uh, uh, DD Neroy Art Gallery which is in uh, Mumbai, it's uh, quite close to Marine Drive, so uh, uh, very nicely placed and uh, uh, Mrs. Gayatri uh, Desai, she is the curator, she has organized this show and uh, especially after Covid doing this show was, uh, was a pleasure, so it was, it was really nice, uh, it's a very cozy, nice, cute art gallery which uh, you should all visit and uh, this year, yes, I have taken part in this, uh, of course a couple of my work is here, it just not too many pieces this time, it is just six, seven works. This is my uh, artwork which is uh, which is mainly with coffee, a little different medium. Uh, so, uh, so coffee and the actually actually standing like this. Yeah, this is the work which a uh, lot of people uh, uh, kind of uh, quite interested in this work because the medium is very different and there are a lot of textures deliberately given on the on the canvas itself. Uh, I have kept uh, more or less same color scheme which is more of browns and beige and black. That's the color scheme I have tried and uh, not too many bright colors. Uh, again, another uh, thing in this is um, uh, to play with a lot of shade and light. So it's, if you just observe, I think four or five of them, light is coming from one side, uh, from the left side and the right is uh, the, the shaded area. So the theme is kind of more or less can be, uh, can go together. So uh, I'm an engineer by profession and I worked in the steel plants in my working years. And art has always been my passion. From the beginning, young age I've been painting. And I had many shows, I used to do watercolors, acrylics. And uh, I've had about five, six shows in uh, Mumbai, in uh, starting with uh, Bajaj Art Gallery and one in Thane here, all over. And uh, thanks to Madam Gayatri, I've been given an opportunity to display my talent here in this esteemed uh, gallery. So it's my pleasure to present my digital creations.
Because so art is always evolving. I want to keep on trying new things. From the last 50 years, I've been trying to do many things at the same time. So this was an opportunity. She was very encouraging. So I went ahead and painted this digitally. And what they printed on the canvas. And that's what you see here, the color put. Where I wanted to give prominence to the color. Color is always evolving. Different people react differently to colors. So, but basically all my paintings are all very positive. Don't give the positive way. When you see it, you go, you feel happy. You get positive vibrations. And uh, so, I keep uh, improving and I keep uh, diversifying and uh, by and large art is art, art. So I keep doing art. It always gives me pleasure. And also yeah, after COVID, when the COVID came and the, I started painting more and I started writing, I also uh, brought out four publications of my books. A couple of them are here, I can give it to you. So, at this age, after retirement, my creativity has increased. <laughs> so, in all respects of life. My works have been inspired by Shiv Shakti. So, the works which you see here in the background, this painting special, especially. This is the uh, Navadurga with Ganesh Ji and Lord Shiva. So this what you see is the nine avatars of the goddess Durga which I have uh, shown in different colors. So this has been uh, my muse for the longest time. So Shiva and Shakti is what I always work with and um, I work in the acrylic medium. My works are very strong in terms of uh, the colors which I use. I use absolute solid gold colors. And if you look at the works very carefully, the eyes, they speak a lot. So these are all energy paintings which I have been working on. Painting for the last four decades. And uh, this is how the journey has been for the longest time. And if you move ahead and you see a little... These are smaller works of mine, again, inspired by shlokas. So, some of my works have got shlokas in it. So, uh, this is how I have uh, put things together. Also, a few more paintings, if you look uh, to the left, these are inspired by the Shankar. These are the Shankar uh, series which I have done. So, it is uh, the Shankar, the conch shell, from which, which comes out from the sea when the Samudra Manthan happened and that was the time when the Shankha emerged from the seas where which I have depicted in my works. So here if you look at this particular uh, painting, you will see the lotus here. So this is the Lakshmi Shankha. When a Lakshmi Ji, she comes out of the sea and uh, she is the goddess of wealth and she is blessing all of us and you can see all these points. Which are, which are there. So, again, if you see, this, these are all symbols which I have put into place. A lot of Hindu study has gone in it's Hindu iconography which I have put into place. The same goes with this painting. This is also another painting which is, uh, you know, inspired by the Shankar. But if you see, you will see the Chandra, the moon. So, it is with uh, the blessings of, you know, uh, the moon. So the moon shall come, which is also there and uh, it's like spreading 